I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right after Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV, we're about to watch a very strange story together, subscribers. Just watch this. And we'll comment on it. Let's uh, watch this together. All right, check it out. Okay, all right. So for those who don't know what's going on, a guy, I guess, got police office to agree to do a wedding proposal. And the way he did the wedding proposal was he was on the ground as if he was finna get arrested. The, he made it seem like a police brutality incident was about to happen. Like they were over, I mean, over aggressive to him, had him on the ground, had his girlfriend come take everything that was out of his pocket as if he had a gun on him. And then he proposed to her. I'm going to give my comment in a second. Let me first, he stepped into, I believe he did an interview with the Shade Room. And he talked about why he felt compelled to do this. Let me read this to you. Okay. All right. So the guy says, um, I had to try and gain my woman's trust back and show her that I have really changed. He said, this was my last chance. So I made every sacrifice I could to show her. First thing first, I didn't show my appreciation like I should have been back. I had a huge ego just coming out of a bad relationship back in 2011 when I met her. But I didn't know that she was going to be one of a kind and that we clicked instantly. We have been on a very rocky relationship and it's been mainly because of my actions. Failure to be faithful. I didn't want to talk about problems when they surfaced. I always thought I was right in her opinion on the things that didn't matter. All right, so that's context to the situation. He felt compelled to have to do something for his girl um something crazy like that but i don't know how i feel about that guys to me that's doing too much with police brutality going on and i get it you want to be creative for your wedding i get it and congratulations to y'all salute to y'all for getting engaged i hope your wedding is magical all right i don't know though to me that seems like it's more for the internet than more for the relationship to me it seemed like it was more for going trending than actually for the woman. Like, if I'm trying to propose to my girl, I have to think, would she really enjoy me doing that? Like, making fun of or making light of, at the least, of a situation like police brutality and being locked up with the police? It just To me, it seems like a lot. To me, it seems like too much. And I would have did that, all right? And I don't think my girl would have enjoyed that. I, that's just me. I don't think, like... I get it. You show your girl that you want to go out of the way for her, but I don't think my girl would enjoy the fact that I did all that, included the police, had guns pointed at her and then pointed at him and made light of police brutality because that's what I believe it did for their engagement. There are so many other creative routes you could have went. Just thought it was bad taste, all right? That's just my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own beliefs. Comments, comment them below. Subscribers, all 40,000. By the way, salute. We just went over 40K and we ain't stopping yet. What do you think? Was this too much? Would you have done this for your girl, fellas? Ladies out there, what would you think if your man would have did this for y'all engagement? Would you have said yes, no, maybe, indifferent? Talk to me in my comment box below. Again, I say no. This is too much. Thank you for the time, love, and support. Salute. I'm out.